Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video on my channel today. We're going to be doing a unboxing. I got a box from Primitive today with a few boards in it. And I got another package we're going to be opening today too. And that is some shoes that I ordered a while ago off eBay, I think. Got them today. So yeah, we're going to be checking that out today. All right, here we go. Box. Hopefully they hooked it up with some stickers and stuff. Ooh. I got two of the same board, super boring, I know. One's got the pink top, and one's got the turquoise. Um, they're both eights, three point or 31.913 long and 14 inch wheelbase on these. Um, I was going to order uh, the new Webos again, but they were sold out, so I wanted to try these ones out, which um, I'm hoping they're basically the same thing, different graphic. All right, then we got two sheets of grip tape. They throw that in for free when you get your boards, so that's pretty cool. They hooked it up with one sticker, but still. Alright, that's a pretty cool sticker, though. Oh, we got the, the Dirty P sticker, too. Alright, that's pretty cool. Um, make sure they're not warped or anything. They look perfect off the bat. I mean, they're pretty... Pretty nice board. All right, so now next on the list. So I ordered these a while ago, um, cause I kind of just got back into skating um, like six months ago and I forgot how fast I run through shoes. I thought I went through them quicker than I actually do. So I already have a brand new pair of shoes to skate, but I thought that I was gonna need um, these two, which I probably won't need these for another like three or four months, but I got them as backup anyway. And I got them for a good deal. Janowski RMs, and they're, they look yellow. But I think they were called like Celestial Gold. Size 10 and a half. Size 10 and a half. Yeah, they look legit. Look good. So, um, yeah, I probably won't be skating these for a while, but yeah, it was uh, good to get. So, these right here, um, I still have some other reviews I'm working on but as soon as I put these boards together we'll uh, go ahead and uh, we'll all review these two all right so yeah that's the video for the day um, I know it was kind of short and I didn't have much to unbox and I kind of just realized that but it was a spur of the moment video so next time I do an unboxing I will probably order a little more variety so there's a little more to it all right, so you just saw the unboxing portion of this video. This is the second part. I'm gonna set the board up today and um, kind of talk about how I just rolled my ankle recently. So I'm gonna grip this board up and show you guys what I'm skating right now. I've, so I've been skating this for over a month now and I finally, I'm done with it there's a uh, quite a few chips on the tail so right now I'm skating the got these new bone STFs 52 millimeters with some uh, bones red bearings I got these independent forged hollow 139s and I put on the uh, the bones hardcore bushings mediums and they broke in really quick I'm impressed for sure so yeah the this primitive nuevo I 
went skating, um, I think it was a little over a week ago, and I was doing a uh, nollie inward heel down the two block, and I kept kicking it out, and it kept just slamming into the, the tail, and just kept chipping and chipping, so I just kept pulling off the chips, and that's why it looks like this. All around, it was a really good board, though. It lasted me over a month doing, you know, a lot of flip tricks. Um, so that day was pretty much my last time skating because I did the nollie inward heel, and then I wanted to do it better, so I tried it again, and my board kind of over-rotated. I caught it in primo, and I still tried to stick it, and just boom, rolled my ankle. So it's been a little over a week today and I am still feeling it, but I'm gonna try to go to the park down the street and at least do a few tricks. Um, so I'm gonna probably set this one up and skate it today, but first I'm gonna finish off the this chipped board. I wanna do a null inward heel down um, off this little um, quarter pipe, and I know when I do null inward heels, I, when I bail, I just chip the tail, so I'm gonna finish this board off on that trick. Then I'll probably set this board up and I will skate it, probably put a few clips of me skating it in here today, and um, yeah, so with the um, nollie inward heel that I rolled my ankle on, I'm going to insert that clip. Alright, so that was me rolling my ankle on that and also, you know, a clip of me landing it. And here's a few other clips I did. Somehow I did these tricks after I rolled my ankle. I don't know how, but yeah, here they are. So yeah, I got kind of lucky, landed those other tricks right there. And, um, but after that, the next day, my ankle was super sore and I couldn't bend it, so I just been chilling. Um, so today, I don't think I can do any kick flips or really anything regular. Like, my ankle is not going to be working like that, but I'm going to try some, maybe some switch stuff and probably just some basic stuff today. But yeah, I'll break in this board and yeah, hopefully, I have some clips for the end of this video. Alright, what's up, guys? So. This is the new setup, setting it up right now, almost done. Get a little close up on it. So that primitive collegiate, those independent forged hollows with the bones, hardcore bushings, bone STF 52 millimeter wheels, and the bones reds bearings. I tried to do the all in wheel on this old deck, and it just wasn't happening. if it was my ankle or the board but it just wasn't going down so this is this board after about uh, I think a month and a week and this I know it looks bad but this kind of just happened from the nollie and heels the last week or whatever but um but yeah my ankle's kind of messing me up right now so I can't do anything too hard so what I'm gonna do is finish setting this up and just film some kind of easy stuff around the park and uh Hopefully, next time I come out and my ankle's better, I'll get that nollie in review. Alright, the board's all set up now. I'm gonna, I wanted to do the kickflip test, but ankle can't roll that way, so we're going to try the switch flip test. It's going to prove if it's going to be a good board or not. Not the best switch flip, but it's a good sign.
I'm back from the skate park now. My ankle started hurting out there. Um, I kind of got hit in it a few times, and yeah, it's just not even close to all the way healed yet. It probably needs another week or two. Um, but yeah, it was a cool little session. I did a few ledge and manual tricks, which I don't usually skate a lot of that stuff. And I did you know, try to skate a little tiny bit of stairs. I know I probably shouldn't have, but I did anyways. So I finished off this board that I reviewed on this channel previously. And yeah, it's really chipped, but that's not really all from skating. Like uh, when I was trying certain tricks, I was kind of just kicking out. And then once it got like really messed up, I knew I was about to switch boards. I kind of like was whatever and kind of kicking it around and whatever. So, but it did last me well over a month. So I'm really happy with this board. Now the board that I set up today, the Primitive the Collegiate, it was a good board too. But, um, so on the, on the sticker, it says that these are supposed to be the same size, but, and they're supposed to have the same wheelbase, same nose, same tail, um, all that's supposed to be the same, but what I realized is, I don't know if you can see, but, yeah, okay, so, the Nuevo is definitely longer than this board, and the Nuevo has a bigger nose than this board, for sure, um, but, I mean, that didn't really, it's not a bad thing or anything. It didn't affect me too bad skating this board, jumping from uh, that board to this board. It was, they're almost the same. It's just, there's a slight difference. And, um, yeah, the nose is definitely a little bit um, smaller on the collegiate. Um, I also did notice, compared to the Nuevo, it's a little, it's not quite as hard, I guess. There is. I kicked out and I mean it didn't chip or anything, it just kind of dented right there. But um, with the new web, I didn't really notice that happening. So at this point, I mean this is just my, you know, hour or two skate review on this board. So I mean, can't judge it too much off that. But um, so far, I mean the new web is just good, good board. So I'm gonna just keep skating this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep skating on my messed up ankle or if I should let it heal. I'll probably keep skating. It's kind of hard for me not to. But, um, yeah, I'll keep skating that and uh, we'll see how that goes. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video today. I'm also keeping an eye out for um, the Janowski RM follow-up review. I've, you know, had a, these for a few sessions now, so they're kind of breaking in. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, what you guys want to see me do next, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you later.